Welcome to guys, I'm Ron Horn here. Today guys, we are here with a uh, new series of Pokemon X. So here we go. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I am Augustine Sycamore, the Kalos region, Kalos region's very own Pokemon professor. This world of ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. These mysterious creatures have been found in every corner. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies, and yet some swim deep uh, in the ocean. We live together with these Pokemon lending our strength to one another to live and prosper. Let's get started with some questions. With some quick questions. Are you a boy or a girl? Right over there, if you guys haven't seen the um, Pokemon anime, that is uh, Serena, and that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the boy. What do you look like? Um, I'm not a blonde, but I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, I see. Would you like to tell me your name? Um, sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know. I'm gonna go name it real quick, give me a second. Okay, there we go. Let me go ahead and hit enter. There we go. There's our name. Alright. So it's Emerald then. Did I get that right? Yes. Emerald, I have no clue on how to speak that. <laughs> what a fantastic name. I'm sorry, I don't know what that was. Uh, go and meet many po Pokemon and people. Now let's go out to the world and visit some Pokemon. Okay. So, really quickly, as we're getting into this game, I know right now you guys see nothing <laughs> because the game's starting up. And guys, just basically what I'm saying is there's the Pokemon between Chespin, Froakie, and Fennekin, which are really. Yeah, kind of want to eventually try and catch all of them, but I already know who I'm gonna go with first. So, yeah. There's a nice little fledgling. Okay, we're just gonna wake up now. So, what in the world is this? Is this a Wii U? Yes, it is. It's a Wii U. The game head even has a screen. I'll we'll just go downstairs then. Oh, there's fledgling again. Oh, there's mom. Morning, Emerald. You. You sure slept well, and you're uh, all rested up for, from the move. Um, why is it for the last two Pokemon games you both moved? I don't understand it. Anyways, Emerald, you look like you just rolled out of bed. No, a bird just came and smacked me in the face, of course. What else do you think happened? <laughs> go have a look at yourself in the mirror and change, in, change out of your pajamas. Okay, time to go back upstairs. Time to go play with my Wii U before I go catch some Pokemon. <laughs> Um, uh, where's our closet? I think our closet's over here, right? No, it's because I had to go look in the mirror. Emerald looked in the mirror. There we go. Oh, wow, it looks so much more better. I just need to go and fix my hat and my eyes because my eyes are not blue, they're brown. Well, whatever you get with whenever you mix like a brown and a green together, I don't know. Anyways, and changed out of his pajamas. Cool. I'm gonna go with the brown eyes, anyways. Hopefully I'm able to switch those later on, I don't know. It's about time you got going. Why don't you step out and say hello to the neighbors? Sure. Okay. Goodbye, Fletchling. No? Okay. You, you don't want to talk to me? Come on. Talk talk to me. Chirp, chirp. Okay. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why it's like so pixelated for you guys, I might try and fix that, but I don't know for you guys. But I like how you like, it's like in real life, like virtual reality, and you just open up the door, okay. So that's Serena already talking, well, welcome to Vinali, oh, Vinaville Town. My name's Serena, I'm your neighbor, and I'm Shauna, great to meet you. Guess what, we've come to get you. The esteemed Pokemon, old Professor Sycamore, lives in the Kalos region. I was told he has a request for five kids, including us. But I'm a little surprised. He knows who you are. You did just move to Vanderbilt, after all. We'll wait for you the next town over. And you know what? 
We're gonna get a Pokemon. Come on, hurry up, let's go. <laughs> Town just like next door over. Nice. <gasps> yes! It's a Rhyhorn. Yay. Okay. Gurgu. Okay. I may want to get. <gasps> Even has like a little ball and everything. No. That makes me happy. Well. Oh, now we don't have to wait for running shoes. Yay. I'm just gonna run through here. I like how the music changes. Aquata Town. Hey, Emerald. This way. Over here. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> it's gonna, like, auto-walk me over there, but okay. We were just talking about you. Come on, have a seat. Yay. This is the meeting place, Emerald. Here, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is Emerald. Wow, Sean's description was spot on. So, Emerald, this is Tierno. He got, well, he's got some serious dance moves. And this is Trevor. He never misses a single question on his test, but he's a little shy. All right, nice to meet you. You know, it okay. It feel like we were a lot cl cl closer crew if we'd all call each other by nicknames. Just look at that face real quick. <laughs> if we all call each other by our nicknames, can I call you E Meister? <laughs> wait, no wait. He's Lil E for sure. What do you think, Trevor? What? You want me to just pick a nickname for someone I just met? Shauna, you shouldn't people on this. You, should, you shouldn't put people on the spot like this. Yeah, I'd be. I would have done the same thing Trevor would do. I'd just be like, something all dumbfounded. Be like, um, I don't know. Well, how about something low key? Maybe like, maybe something like Big E. Why don't you decide on what we should call you? Um, I want to pick my own. I just want it to be like a straight emerald. So, like, uh, I'm just gonna see, so you guys can see E. Uh, M. R. O. L. D. Just call, just call me by my name. Uh. Uh. So you want us to call you Emerald? <laughs> yes, that's my name. <laughs> Okay, Emerald fits you perfectly. I'm sure we're gonna be great friends, so I'll catch, I'll catch you that, I'll call you that too. What? What? <laughs> I'm already thinking about catching Pokemon. Jeez. Hey, can we? Hey, can we see the Pokemon? Now? I want to see my new partner soon. I know it was such a cool feeling when Trevs and I met our Pokemon. I hope you feel the same way we did. Ooh, okay. So, there's Fennekin, Froakie, and Chespin. But, yeah, I mean, you guys already think I'm gonna choose Froakie, but, I mean, because of Greninja, but the answer is no. Surprisingly, the answer is gonna be no. Is it going to be Fennekin? Maybe. Is it gonna be Chespin? Who you knows, it's gonna be between these two. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's not Fennekin. It's gonna be Chespin. The reason why I like Chespin is, I, I honestly don't know why, it's just, it, I don't know why I like Chespin so much, it's just awesome to have, you received Chespin, oh I love that music, I wish I could play that on my snare drum, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and learn that, I'm gonna go play that for you guys, if you would like to see that happen, go ahead and leave a like on this video, okay, would you like to give your Pokemon a name, no, I'm just gonna call him Chespin for right now, so you're not gonna give your Pokemon a nickname? <laughs> okay, my Pokemon, my partner is Froakie. Wow, we got together great. Just the way that, uh, just, uh, the two of us are just way, away, away too cute. Okay. Nice to meet you, Fennekin. I'm Serena. Oh, I did not expect that to set up like that. So, Serena still ended up with Fennekin, just like in the Pokemon anime. Which is kind of cool. Okay. Because of you, I can be a real Pokemon trainer. Thank you. Yeah, let's go and give a 10-year-old a Firefox. <laughs> Becomes a Pokemon champion. <laughs> the age of 10. Okay, anyways. Uh, pardon me, but I have something for you from the professor as well. I have something that will help you understand. Okay, Pokedex, come on. <laughs> you knew that. Yes! Okay. 
I'm probably gonna speed this up right now because we're already like running at like 12 minutes for me. So I'm gonna speed it up a little bit more. So yeah. So um so you see, the Pokedex I just gave you is a high tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. The reason you get one is because the professor wants us to go on a journey with our Pokemon. But he's a Pokemon professor and he already knows about this, so why should we know about this? I don't understand this. This stuff I don't understand about Pokemon. <laughs> a journey with our Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. To put in another way, it's an important mission for, from the professor. From the professor? From the professor. <laughs> I'm sure of it. I just can't speak today. Oh, lighten up, Trevs. You're way too serious sometimes. Um, Emerald, please take this with you too. Please tell me it's gonna be some Pokeballs. There's a letter from the professor. He said you should give it to your mom. Okay, so professor's letter. Okay. All right, we're done with our errand from for the professor. I guess Trevs and I will go look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trevs. I mean, well, honestly, I just want some Pokemon. <laughs> And Kalu's kids are chosen to carry a Pokedex and go on an adventure. But you need to give that letter to your mom before you go. Okay. Oh, oh you're... <laughs> uh, I like this game. I mean, kind of acting like it's like my first time. Emerald, wait. I have to go deliver this letter to my mom. I can't battle you right now. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna be my opponent in my Pokemon battling debut. De debut. <laughs> Jeez, sir. Okay, Lil Froakie, it's our first battle. What's what's your obsession with calling everything Lil? But anyways, it's our first battle. Let's win in style. Here we go, the first battle of today. Let's go. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Shauna. Okay, I'm a grass type. She's a water type. I should just smack him with my vines and just get out of here. So there's Chestman. The beautiful Chestnut Pokemon. I'm going to use Vine Whip. He used bubble. You're gonna do like no damage to me. Told you. <laughs> this is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh my gosh! I took him straight down to yellow. Okay. Um, use growl. Lowers defense. Come on, just growl at him and lower his defense. Oh no, that lowers his attack. Uh, I don't really use uh, um, defensive moves that often. Oh, no, I <laughs> like it's, I don't really use like attacks that don't do any damage that often. So like it's like really the only time that I'm ever gonna use this. So there you go, guys. It's something new that you're gonna learn today. Pound. <laughs> just, just call it punch because you're just basically punching me. Because I'm taller than you. <laughs> okay. Anyways, the Froki fainted. Perfect. Chespin gained 67 experience points. Already level 6. Let's go. Yay. Plus 2, plus 1, plus 1, plus 0. Okay, plus 1, plus 1. Nice. So our speed's going up a little bit. We have 10 speed. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Ser Serena. Jeez. Shauna. It's not Serena, it's Shauna. Okay. <laughs> hey, I wasn't done watching my, my cute little Froki yet. Gonna, yes, I did it. Okay. Five hundred dollars, jeez. You're amazing, Emerald. Here, let me fix up your Pokemon. Thank you. Say hi to mom for me. Okay, you, you have no clue who, who I even am, but okay. Wait, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Came the wrong way. Wait, no, am I? Oh no, I walked over here, so I'm gonna say I have to go back from Route One. Yeah. Vanderville Town. Didn't Route 1 normally have, like, Pokemon on it? There's Rhyhorn again. Yay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, there's Mom and Fletchling, of course. So what did you and the neighbor kids end up doing? Well, we ended up going to go get a Pokemon. Wait one second, Emerald. Is that a Pokeball you have there? You got your very own Pokemon? Lucky you. How about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now, too. Congratulations. Huh? A letter for me? It says, for somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? <laughs> no. Wow, what lovely handwriting. Hmm. What do we have here? A request? Oh, I see. Emerald. We barely unpacked 
and all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you and your chessmen ready for your for your journey. Yay! This is beautiful. We're gonna be able to go to Pokemon Trainer, be the Pokemon Champion. This is gonna be perfect. Here we go. Here you are, Emerald. I've pa I've even packed up strange clothes. Uh, my what an unexpected turn of events. It's like a, all of a sudden, the last burst of speed from a from a racer in a Rhyhorn race. You made friends. You, you met Pokemon, and now you get to take a lap around Kalos. Kalos, Kalos, however you want to call it. Oh, and don't forget this. A town nap. Town maps normally. <laughs> why doesn't it just why isn't it called the region map? It's a map of the region. Not a town. A town map would just be the map of your town. No, I I'm not gonna fight Pokemon right now. I'm gonna put the town map in the keys item pocket. You know how to use a town map, right? Uh yes. Yes, that's my boy. Select the town map from your bag whenever you want to use it. I don't know what this Professor Sycamore wants you to see on your trip. But taking it, blah, 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 it's just gonna be forever. It's gonna be it's too much talking. I'm gonna probably speed this up by, like, two. <gasps> Is Ryan gonna come talk to us? Holy cow, he's shaking the whole entire world. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, too. <laughs> Wait a card. Wait, what a card. I guess Ryanhorn just wanted to give you a big send off before for your journey. Can I just take him with me, please? Just let me take him with me. Well, it has known you since you were born after all. Good luck, Emerald. I'm gonna try and fix this real quick. There we go. Good luck, Emerald. Go for broke and don't worry. You have all Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. But I am broke, Mom. Give me some money, please. <laughs> Goodbye, Rhyhorn. I'm going to talk to you one more time before we go start our journey. Rawr. Well, time to go catch our first Pokemon. Vanderbilt Pathway. And I just ran into the water fountain. Nice. Uh, hello, sir. Hey, Pokemon trader. If you set foot in tall grass... A wild Pokemon will pop out, but you'll be fine because your Pokemon partner will battle for you. Okay, time to go catch Pokemon now. Oh wow, I just stepped right into the grass and I'm already going to be attacked. What is it going to be? A Pidgey. Cool. Well, this is the region of Mega Evolution. I forgot all about that. Okay, there we go. Um, Growlers attack, so we can't do too much damage to us. We can't be taken down yet. His attack is being lowered, and he only did three damage, so we should be fine. Let's go and tackle him. Go and tackle a bird somehow. Here we go. He used tackle. Okay. Well, I'm gonna tackle you again. He used tackle. Okay. I'm just gonna smack him with a vine real quick. Perfect. <laughs> Not even very effective, but we did it. We took him down. <sighs> oh, here we go. There's some more people. Okay, I'm back. Oh, hi, I'm over. <laughs> Come learn how to catch Pokemon with me. I already know how to catch Pokemon. You don't need to tell me. Serena's mom and dad are amazing trainers. That's why she knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling. Well, mom and dad may be good, but that has nothing to do with me. Okay, now watch ca carefully, you two. Okay, come on. I mean, how hard can it be? Just throw a ball at a Pokemon and hope you catch it. <laughs> Serena set out Fletchling. I'm just gonna skip past this part. Wow, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball? Yes. Shauna, what do you think your focus inside right now? <laughs> here I'll show you some po here I'll show you some Pokeballs with with the two of you, okay. Yay. 
Why did I say show? She said share. Anyways, Emerald put the Pokeballs in the item's pocket. Pokeballs? Do you think I can catch a Pokemon with them too? No, you're gonna accidentally fall into the water. Yes, you just threw- <laughs> I know it's not like a jerk, but I mean, how hard can it really be to catch a Pokemon? You just throw Pokeballs at Pokemon. Hence, Pokey. <laughs> Anyways, sure, you can catch the Pokemon around here just by throwing a Pokeball near them. Oh, I thought you had to throw it at them. <laughs> well, Pokemon Go is so much more different now. <laughs> okay, if I find a cute Pokemon, I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it, and then we'll become friends. Because <laughs> that's so friends are made, just throw Pokeballs at them. When you catch a wild Pokemon, it makes your Pokemon stronger too. Good luck! Alright, so I kind of want to go ahead and add like a Bunnelby or a Fletchling to my team. Alright, here we go. <gasps> yes, we get a Fletchling. It's a level 3. See, I mean, we're just going to Pokemon Go this thing right now. I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at it. See, you hit the Pokemon with it. Let's go, we just Pokemon Go that thing. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> and somehow Chester becomes level 7. Nice. There we go, so what do we get? What do we get? Come on. Fletchling. What, the 722? Number 14. But I think it's in like the uh, International. I think it's like 722 or something. I don't know. These fr okay, these friendly Pokemon send signals to one another with beautiful chirps and tail feathers movements. Give a nickname to the God Fl Fletchling. Um, yeah. In case you guys are new here, um, I'm just going to name it Firebird. You guys will see later on, so, yeah. Alright, so that's one out of 600 Pokemon. Right, well, time, back time to go back to the town. And, oh, okay. Potions, um, no. I like how they get, like, closer views now. Okay, um. Are you the Pokemon healer or something? Come on. Where's that at? I mean, we live in such a small little town. No, this is just a Pokemart, okay. Um. Does this town have a Pokemon Center? Are you the Pokemon Center? I doubt it. Just like a random person's house. Yeah. Um, this place, like, doesn't. No. Oh, well, if you just walked out of the place, why'd you go back in there? Alright. Are you. No, I doubt you're gonna be the Pokemon Center. You should be another medicine person. Yeah, what is up with all the shops? There's no such thing as a Pokemon Center in this town. Wow. Okay. Well. Let's go ahead and run back through here. Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I want to try and catch a Pikachu. <gasps> it's a kid. When two trainers' eyes meet, a Pokemon battle must begin. Not all the time. I mean, you don't always have to battle. Youngster Austin Zigazoon. Depending on what level he is, I might send out a Fletchling. Just so they can go and both get experience. Level 5. I'm going to let him get last hit, so I'm going to go really quickly with a Vine Whip. Smack the little raccoon. He used Growl, Grr, lowered my defense, not my attack. Why do I keep thinking that's the defense? Okay, anyways, I'm gonna send out my Firebird. Go for it, Firebird. Zigazoon, you tackle. <laughs> you just look like an adorable little dog, but it's not. But you tackle. Don't faint, don't faint. Okay, jeez. So my attack's gonna fall, I mean, it's not that bad, just gonna tackle it, okay. Okay, it might be a little bit more bad than I thought it was, but I'm just gonna, um... Just gonna use my hand for that one, that's what you guys see right here. Okay. Gonna send out Chespin. Oh, tail up, okay. I see what you're trying to do there. Tackle him! Tackle the poor little raccoon. Another tail whip. Are you kidding me? Why aren't you gonna do any damage? Okay, so tail whip lowers my defense. I'm gonna have to read up on that. 
I know a lot about Pokemon. <laughs> I don't play too much against the um, attacks that don't do anything. I just go, go ahead and normally get rid of them. There we go. Firebird grew to level 4. You defeated Austin. You should have told me that, that you were that strong. I just started like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Emerald received $1, oh, well, okay, 120 Poke Dollars for winning. Nice. So we're at like, seven, no, like $620. I'm just going to go ahead and through here. And try and go ahead and find a, an item. No, wait, wait up. Let's walk together. I feel something exciting will happen if I stand by you. I'll hear your Pokemon. <gasps> Yay! Heal up my Pokemon now. Please, okay, quit. You said you're gonna heal my Pokemon. You won't stop. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm on it. Thank you. But um, how many potions does she have? Potions and revives. Okay. Anyways, now oh, hi Serena. I'm just trying to find a Pikachu. So, um... Oh, I was about to say, yes, a Pikachu. Um, let's see, okay, so if I, if I have a grass type, if I go and get Pantsir and Panpour, I have a full-out grass, fire, and water team already. So let's go and try and Pokemon Go this thing again. I doubt it's gonna work, but you know what? You never know. It's gonna Pokemon Go it. Yes! The Pokemon Go method is working! This is beautiful. <laughs> Let's go try that with a Snorlax real quick. I <laughs> doubt it. Okay. Well, we did grid level 8, so that means that, uh, roll out. Okay. So that means that Fletchling should go up, right? Ooh, we just got Pantsir. Okay. Here we go. Pantsir. High temp Pokemon. Okay. He is fire. Height is 2 feet. I never knew he was 2 foot. Anyways. 24.3, so he's almost 5 pounds. Do I want to go ahead and give him a name? No. Alright, so... Um, Alright, if I can go and, like, find, like, a Pikachu or something, I'd jump out of my seat. No, just a Weedle. Dang it. <laughs> I'll get all excited for nothing. Alright, I'm gonna go and, um... I'm gonna look at, uh, Pants here's summary real quick while we're down here. His, uh, summary. What does it look like? We have... Check moves. We have Scratch, Play Nice, and Leer. Um... I think I'm gonna go ahead and run, and just basically go ahead and try and work on these Pokemon next episode. I'm just gonna basically go around and try and find Panpour and Pikachu, basically. Because I think there's a... Pikachu in here. Hopefully, I can find a Pikachu this early on. And it's another Fletchling, of course. Of course, it would be another Fletchling. What other Pokemon would it be? Level 4, but I already have one that's level 4, so I don't need you. <laughs> that sounds kind of mean saying, but I don't want it. That, that's even worse. <laughs> Alright. What? Oh no, hang on a second, Emerald. You mean you think it's gonna go catch a Pikachu? Look what I found, Emerald. I'll give it to you. I, I love puzzles, so I watch everything more closely than you might think. Oh, a paralyzed seal. Thank you. Now, if you want to go and just, like, help me find a Pikachu. I want a Pikachu, okay? Okay. <laughs> I thought that was a different Pokemon for a reason. I don't know why. It was only Kakuna. Kakuna Matata. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh, it's so stupid. Why would you make that joke? Okay. Kakuna Matata. Okay. Um. Okay, fine. I'll stop now. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in... Pants here. Why not? Go on, Pants here. I wonder when Pants here learns, like, any fire-type moves. I mean, all, all honestly, if you have a grass, a water, and a fire type Pokemon, you could basically just beat the whole game. At, at least, I think. Harden. Okay, what? Well, you're just gonna make it so I can't attack you anymore? I mean, seriously, what is this? Alright, uh, um, Leer. Leer's defense. What is that? Do I think that lowers it? Yes. It did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright. Scratch him again. 
Or you just gun smack them. Whatever you want. Because <laughs> you don't have any nails. Yeah, before I waste like 20 minutes of this, just trying to fight them. Um, I'm just going to move ahead. Just want to find a pan port or a Pikachu. I don't even care about pan sage. I know it sounds kind of mean. It's a scatter bug. Eh, I mean it's a bug type. Eh. Get away safely. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. I just want to find a pan port or a Pikachu. No, another Weedle. Okay, hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and search. Real quick for a little bit, so I'm not just like sitting here like, huh. I can't find anything unless I find a shiny. I'll be back, so guys, before we waste like 20 hours every time, I'll be right back. Okay, so guys, I went ahead and I found Pokemon Gum. I hope this, I hope this just works like the rest of the video. That'd be awesome, but I doubt it. Knock on wood. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't have any wood near me. Yes, the Pokemon Go theory still works. Beautiful, not the theory, but the uh, thing's still going on. So, yeah, I just basically wanted to go and find like a Panport or like a Pikachu, and I went ahead and got that gold done. So, beautiful, number thirty-three. Okay, wait, no, no, I don't want to give him a nickname. No, Panport's nickname is just gonna be Panport. I, I wonder if we can go. And, I wonder how we can go and evolve him. Okay, you know, I'm gonna go ahead with one more. And if it's not a Pikachu, I'm just going to go and leave. I mean, I've already wasted a lot of your guys' time. And it's going to be a Weedle. So I'm just going to go and leave. And then wait till we get to the next town, and then that's going to be the end of this video. So, yeah. I think we have a couple other people to go and battle and fight against. And then we can go ahead and go and end this episode. So, yeah. Hello, kid. Okay, you, you don't want to battle me? Okay. Fine. Be that way. Um. Oh, I can't right now. Okay, here we go. Pan Sage. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna go and catch him. Just be. You, I mean, even though we already have a uh, grass type, which is just been. I'm still gonna go ahead and grab Pan Sage just so we can go and have him in the Pokedex. Plus, I mean. I know I said I wasn't going to catch him, but I mean, like, why not try and catch all three of them? What is up with this? I just... I just had to throw my Pokeball at every single Pokemon. See, Serena, I told you this this idea would work. You just Pokemon go. Throw it at their face, and you'll catch them. That's all you have to do. Alright. Uh, grass Monkey Pokemon. Nope. Pansage will be on my team forever. So what, now we have a Flying type, a Grass type, two Grass types... Water type and a fire type. I just want to find a Pikachu. <laughs> Somebody give me a Pikachu. I think that's the grass, the last grass patch, and then we're gonna go ahead. Be there, come on, Caterpie. Oh, Caterpie or Caterpie? Go ahead and comment it down below. Would you guys rather eat Caterpie? Or, wait, would you rather have Caterpies or Caterpies? Hmm. Hmm. Everybody always says that it's Caterpie and Caterpie, so I just go with both of them. So it's whichever you guys want. Either way, it'd be disgusting to eat at either of them. Come on, give me a Pikachu. Another Weedle, of course. What does it mean, like, a Weedle, Caterpie, and Scatterbug Rave? I mean, we're in the woods considering that. I mean, like, this also mice, and Pikachu's a mouse. Pikachu would be, like, a nice Pokemon to have on my team. If I don't find him now, I'm just gonna go back later on in the game. And just go ahead and just come back and just go ahead and try and find him. But he'd be like really low, like a level 4. But you know what? You don't need a Pikachu for every single series. I mean, he only provides half the entertainment. The other half, you provide, right? Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Okay. <laughs> no, just now this kind of bug. I was gonna say, oh look, it's a Pikachu. You call him out, <laughs> and apparently he comes to you. Anyways. So I'm gonna run now. Go over here, talk to Serena real quick. Serena, what do you have to say to me? Okay. Yes, I have Pokeballs still, but I'm not gonna give you any. I don't understand on what you're saying. Okay. Hello. I'm okay. He's gonna go beat you now. My question is, how does Shauna even get by? Am I just like the one that's gonna be able to fight everything for her? Your Pokemon are in for a shock. But please don't. She has a Pikachu. This is it. 
I can't find a Pikachu. But yet she's allowed to have a Pikachu. What is this, Pokemon? She does. She's a Pikachu. Are you kidding me? I don't even want to do this. So, um... I'm gonna skip past this panel so I don't, like, when I come back to the series, I don't have to watch it. This poor Pikachu get beaten up. So, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so, guys, I went ahead and beat it, sadly. You know what? We leveled up, so. Uh, yeah, it also paralyzed us. In case you were wondering, yeah, I decided to go and paralyze us. Eep. I was the one who got shocked. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> so, now we can go ahead into our bag and basically. Oh, wait, no. No, no, I'm not gonna go and waste it now, because I have Shauna to go ahead and just heal up my Pokemon for me. So heal up my Pokemon, please. Yes, I want you to go and heal up my Pokemon. Thank you. Okay, I'm on it. Thank you. I'm just gonna... Please tell me this is a Pikachu. You, you guys are like, quit trying to go after the Pikachus already. You're not gonna find one. But I understand that, okay? I just want one. <laughs> Gonna run on through here. Ooh, an item! Oh, I'm gonna go grab that item real quick. Please don't need to Pikachu. No, it's another pants here. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. that that's fine. Alright, just gonna run. Oh, is this gonna be like another. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be like another paralyzed seal, but. Okay, pan pour, not that bad. That's our second pan pour. So we're two for two on Panpour, two for two, well, we're basically, uh, two for two for, no, actually, two out of three for doubles right now. We just haven't found a po- uh, oh, well, we found a potion. Uh, can't speak. We found a potion. But we haven't found a Pansage yet. Oh, well, the second one. Okay, I just want to find a Pikachu. Oh wow, <laughs> we're already at five Pokemon. Jeez, okay. Get away safely. Well, off we go. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have a Pikachu on our team. Okay. So, you're the first to arrive. Looks like my new neighbor is someone with a lot of potential. I just walked through the forest. I mean, <laughs> what's so bad about that? Okay. The way Pokemon move is just so incredible. I want to show off some of that spirit when I dance. Tierno, could you think about something about something else besides how Pokemon move for once? We're all here. Let's go to Satuline City. Ooh, all five of us just walked together. Nice. Uh, route three, over its way. What do you... Um, we'll look for Pokemon, of course. The Pokemon professor did tell us you know what? Okay. Trev, you're, you're gonna ruin my Pokemon journey, but nagging me about this stupid Pokedex, okay? What's next? You're gonna go to have, like, a Pokedex battle with me? <laughs> Who's captured the most Pokemon? Or who has the most Pokemon in there? I didn't even read what, anything with what she just said. I just clicked right on past. Uh, something about adventure rules. <laughs> Uh, if you are puzzled about something, try looking at these rules. Okay, I didn't hear anything. Uh, oh, this is great. Yeah, I didn't read anything. <laughs> I'm going to spend some time. Okay. <laughs> can it, can somebody please tell me on what anything she just said? Hello. What in the world? Mommy told Okay, I'm going to try and make the perfect voice for this. Mommy told me that I should battle anyone who greets me. Here we go. going to try and take him down. I'm sorry, child. Oh, he's so small, too. He's a preschooler, Oliver. Do I really have to beat him? Pokemon, why'd you do this to me? It's a child with a Caterpie. Caterpie, Caterpie, I don't really care. I'm just gonna pronounce it however I want. We're gonna use a rollout. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for all these preschoolers and just like... And as a rule, um, yeah, I'm gonna switch that for, uh, Pan Stage, because I know that as a rule, as a rule, is a water and fairy type, excuse me. Alright, so we're gonna send that out. Preschooler Oliver sent out as a rule, okay. As a rule, or as a real, I don't know. Uh, here we go. Just gonna smack him across the face. Yeah, splash! What is this, like the second magic card for Pokemon? 
scratch. Splash. Okay, I really need to help this preschool learn how to battle. I mean, seriously, I'm not trying to sound mean, but I mean, this monkey keeps slapping his... I don't know, what, what would you call that? Like, the Wow Wow Wubsy thing? <laughs> yeah, I used to watch that show, but I was like, four years old. Don't judge me. That reminds me of, like, Wow Wow Wubsy. It's in the red right now. We're about to go smack it one more time to knock it out. There we go. Beautiful. Not too beautiful, because it's a poor little Wow Wow Wubsy that just got knocked out. So... Yeah. Mom, wait. Mommy told me to beep away, especially when I lose. Emerald received $64 for winning. How in the world do you even have that money? You're a preschooler. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another preschooler. Wait. I'm just gonna go and use the same voice I did for the kid. Wait. Pokemon battles are really hard. I just let Pichu do it at once. No, that's not how you train Pokemon, I'm sorry. You, you have a Baneary. So, why do you... you know, I'm not gonna ask. You have a Pichu? I, I mean, it's a preschooler. I mean, I'd be like, hey, do you want to trade Pokemon? But I don't want to be mean and take the Pokemon and then have it, and then have her mom be like, yeah, why'd you take my daughter's Pichu? Oh, critical hit. Oops. Well, you guys didn't get to see Pichu for too long. Yeah, it's okay for me to go ahead and show you, you guys me knocking out Pichu, even though it's like the pre-evolved form of Pikachu, but you know what? It's not Pikachu, we're fine. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, an item. Oh, okay, we don't have cut. Unless we do. Ooh, can we find a Pikachu? Come on, it's right in front of the girl. Let me find a Pikachu. She had a Pichu. No, it's a Pichu. Are you kidding me? Chespin, go. Chespin, run away. There we go. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Just gonna run down the steps. Oh, what? I'm coming through. Okay, please don't hit me. I don't want to be hit. Okay. So I'm gonna go and heal up my Pokemon in the video inside of the uh, Pokemon Center. What? Okay, of course it wouldn't be that easy. Oh, hey there, Emerald. Are you here to get Pokemon healed too? Pokemon Centers sure are great. You can talk to the lady at the counter to heal your Pokemon. And you can even deposit Pokemon you've caught in that PC. Know how Pokemon are sent to a PC when you've got more than you can carry? That's where they go. Oh yeah, Emerald. There's a Pokemon in the back of, of a Pokemon Center. It's, it's a good idea to stock up on some Pokeballs and potions and stuff at the Pokemon mar at the Pokemon too. Well, I'm just gonna go and heal up my Pokemon now and just like stand here for 20 more hours until I go <laughs> until my uh, person who's controlling me, who just made me run into the fountain, makes me move again. So see you later, Tier. Now, at least that's probably what my character is thinking right now. Okay. Good morning. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. Even though it was nighttime and I need to go to bed. For, for uh, school tomorrow, so, yeah. Here we go. Thanks for waiting. You're welcome. <laughs> We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope... I hope I don't see you again. This is a Pokemon hospital. Why would I want to see you again? Anyways. Well, I'm basically going to be like, well, goodbye. Okay. I'm going to go explore more of this to... Uh, not tomorrow, but in the next episode, so... Hope you guys have enjoyed... I'll try not to get lost on this series. I probably won't because this series is gonna be fun. First of all, because it's Pokemon related, and two, there's just a whole bunch of like different funny moments inside the Pokemon game that I can go ahead and like laugh at. So, yeah. See you guys later. Have a good night. See you guys. See you guys. If you guys do enjoy this series. You can leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. What is? Well, how, how do you say? It? Do you say Caterpie or Caterpie? So I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Have a good day. If you guys are watching this in 2024, then congratulations. You guys found the correct year of me watching this. So see you guys later. Goodbye.